using one little loom with 24 pegs I made 61 patterns I know it sounds crazy but it's true and because I did it you can too hey it's Denise from loomahead.com and I love making patterns with video tutorials to make all of my projects possible for you and it's a long list so let's get started we all like to knit hats so let's start with that project the most important thing i wanted to show you is the range of sizes of hats that you can make using the small loom in fact i wanted to start with an adult project and this is the barrette hat I was able to make this adult size hat because I did not knit in a circle. Instead, I knit flat, which means I went back and forth using a technique called short rows. Now, I do want to give you a heads up that this is not a beginner friendly project, but my main point was to show you that an adult hat on this little 24 peg loom is possible. Of course, I did make a baby hat. This is the seed stitch baby hat that fits a newborn, but I went even smaller and made this teeny tiny little hats that fit these emoji stress balls. Not only did I make the hat, but the little emoji ball as well. As well as these marshmallow mug hats. These were so much fun. And I also made a headband. If you have a hat, your hat needs a pom-pom. And I wanted to do something a bit different. So I created this loopy pom-pom. I made this specifically for my garter stitch hat because I wanted something that was bigger in size, um, but again, it was different. They work good for scrubbies too. I also made uh, this ornament looking pom-pom for my Santa Claus hat. And while I was in the uh, ornament mindset, I knitted this ornament and it looked like a cat toy so I went ahead and made a cat toy let's move on to stuffed animals and I want you to see the range in shape on these projects here's a really simple kitty cat that's basically a tube as well as the little mouse but this one takes decreases I also made a teddy bear and not only did I make the teddy bear with that loom but this hat and cowl and the headband all on the same loom check out the texture on these sheep super cool right i also made some chicks and not just the chick but the basket that the chick is in and a really wild axolotl with great hair piece as well as the tail all right i want to show you what small changes can make by showing you these dolls. Here's my tiny doll project and I want you to see how making changes to the style of the hat and just adding a collar, he went from being a baby doll to a clown. The cupcake skirt doll, I changed hair, texture, color, same thing with the clothes and you could see how different this one little doll can look from just making different things like putting a bun on her instead of having her hair loose the mermaid doll project I made so many different styles so many different variations it would make your head spin in fact dolls are so amazing in that you can really customize them as I did here for my daughter Cameron she loves ballerinas and I basically turned her into a ballerina and made it a doll and you could do this with anyone I did this with some of my patrons here's Lizzie Charles and Kelly so dolls can be customized and this particular pattern includes a coloring page so the recipient can decide how they want the project to look. This next one is the comfort doll and you could see the range of possibilities with changes and this is a favorite for charity workers. I love it. Now remember that I told you that you can knit in the round like you would for a hat but that you can also knit flat like you would a scarf, right? Back and forth. This means that you can knit a blanket. Yes. And it doesn't matter the size. So I made a pattern for a baby blanket, a chunky baby blanket. 
but this is made with panels and because it's made in sections you can make it bigger way bigger just by adding more rounds more rows I'm sorry you can make it way longer and if you want it wider well then you just sew more panels so there is no size limit to this project it could be the size of the planet if you want now let's look at different types of scarves We'll start with a basic E-Wrap beginner friendly scarf. But if you're willing to try a pearl stitch, you can do this garter stitch and even a waffle stitch. This is a very cool pom-pom scarf. You can also make cowls and they can be light or chunky. This one's chunky. You have this Xfinity, Infinity scarf and it's a little lightweight with a nice lace stitch. If you want to get a little funky, you can try something like this. This is my necklace pattern. It's a little more advanced, but it's worth it. You can also knit socks. So you can make some chunky boot socks like these. Or you can make something a lot simpler like this tube sock that has no heel or toe. So it's pretty easy. If you prefer your socks a little shorter, well, here's a mid-size sock with bubbles or even some easier quick knit slipper socks all right guys from this point on i'm just gonna let you see the projects you can make while you listen to some music like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together, it's so beautiful You and me, we meant to be Outdoors, forever free. Alright Luma, all of the patterns include video tutorials. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Visit lumahead.com for more information and to buy the patterns directly and other loom knitting supplies, be sure to visit lumahead.store.